Oh, hey, babe. How was work? Oh, that bad, huh? Well, you don't really have to say anything. It says it right all over your face. <laughs> no, 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 I don't read minds. I just know you by heart, that's all. I'm almost done with preparing dinner. Yeah? You smell it, right? Oh, you know. Your favorite, of course. <laughs> or do you want to take a shower? Or maybe a bath first? Yeah, whatever's fine. The food isn't going to get cold anytime soon anyway. Hmm? Oh, sure. Let's sit down on the couch over there. So, were you scolded today? Did something happen? Was there a presentation mishap? I know how you always hated how that one thing you don't want to happen happens. Hmm? Oh, just a, a long day, huh? Oh, that's okay, baby. It's Friday today, so you can take a good night's rest. I highly doubt there's anyone that will bother you at this hour. If anything, you're going to respond to them by Monday anyway. What? Well, it's like a universal rule. You never answer work emails on a weekend. I don't know, but I've been following it for years. <laughs> It seems to work, though. In any case, mind telling me what happened? No? Oh, come on, baby. I won't know how to comfort you or know what to say if you don't tell me. All right. I'm all ears. Mm hmm Okay. Y yeah, I'm aware. You had to stay late and your alarm didn't go off. Yeah, it's a good thing that I woke you up then. Otherwise you would have been late. Yeah, I get that. Were you able to get a ride? Hmm, at least that's one thing. So, what happened when you got there? Huh. Wow. Didn't even catch a break and they already had you do stuff, huh? Ooh, that's rough. But, were you able to explain how bad your morning was at least? Just a co-worker, huh? Well, at least you got to vent a little over there. Yeah, I know. No, it's okay, it was my day off. I just wanted a long weekend, really. Plus, I ran errands today, so we have the complete day off tomorrow. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it. I would have liked it if you called me, though. Well, maybe while we're not at work, but at least when one of us isn't working. Really, it's fine. I was all alone today anyway. Okay, anyway, so back to your story. Were you able to get it done then? No? Uh, I figured... Well, you have still that pending document you were telling me about. Oh, you submitted that. Oh, that's good. I know how much stress you've been putting up with for the past week, since it was so long and important. Oh, come here. Come here. Let me cut you a bit more in my arms like this. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I will not let you go until you say you feel better. And I want you to say it like you mean it. I know your ways. Mm. Nope, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if you stink. We're both going to take a bath anyway before we're going to sleep. In fact, I haven't even taken a bath ever since this morning too. So, we're kind of even. <laughs> I know. Your day was a lot worse than mine. 
But hey, I'm 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 just happy that you're here now with me. So let out a deep breath for me. Yep, trust me. It'll help you calm down. Even if it's just a little bit. Yep, just like that. Hold it for a while. And ah, yeah, just like that. You know how sometimes I talk to myself when I look in the mirror first thing in the morning? <laughs> yeah, well, it's a little something I recently did where I uh, I looked at myself in the mirror and began to appreciate how good I look. <laughs> no, no, not in that way. But more like reminding myself to appreciate the little things that will happen today. And you should try too. Saying some positive things like, you're going to do great, or take it easy today and don't overwork. Oh, and my favorite one is, uh, be kind. Yeah, be kind. With so much going on in the world, I thought maybe brightening up someone's day is the least I could do. Yeah. I want to brighten up your night, too. Well, not literally, since it's going to be dark, but you get the point. <laughs> I love you so much. Ooh, did you have a good lunch? No. Uh, I'm so sorry. Maybe I should have made you lunch after all. Well, next time for sure. What would you like? Hmm? <laughs> I know you like my cooking. Aw, don't be shy. You can even boast to your co-workers how great of a cook your boyfriend is. Not so bad to have someone brag about it. <laughs> of course, I sometimes talk about you during my work too. Well, I tell them how much you love me. How you always prepare my bath in the morning, since you're usually the one that wakes up earlier. That you sometimes even make breakfast for the both of us. That we are a great team when we do the cleaning together. I mean, yeah, we have had our mishaps before, but that doesn't really ruin the entire thing. It's a part of being in a relationship, after all. In any case, um... Were there any more troubling experiences you encountered today? No? That's good. I'm just really glad to have you home safe too. Well, yeah, I could have picked you up and gone to a restaurant. I kind of like it when we have the place to ourselves, you know? Well, that only means I can have you all to myself. <laughs> Aww. Don't be like that. I know you want it that way too. Ah, uh, no. You cannot deny that my cuddles are really good. Especially when I hold you close like this and I can... see your face. Every strand of hair near mine. And I just... steal away a kiss just like that. Super easy. What? Is your... Dashingly handsome boyfriend making you feel embarrassed. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll stop. <laughs> but at least you're smiling now. You know I feel bad whenever I don't see you smile. I mean, I guess everyone who has a partner knows that feeling. It's hard to see someone who's dear to us like this. I mean, like, sad. I think I can speak for anyone out there. Even if you think you're alone. Like you're at work. Or school. There is someone out there. Wishing for your happiness. I'm always one of your greatest supporters, baby. I'll always wish for the both of our happiness. Call me sentimental, but... That's just how I see it. 
So in which case, I always want to make every day special for the both of us. Even if it's just purely about waking up, eating, bathe, work, eat, sleep and repeat. Every second I spend with you is precious to me. Just how much you mean to me as well. So, no more frowning, alright? Call me a broken record, but don't we all experience days like these? You might think the world is against you. But I will always be by your side. Aww. You're smiling now. And that's good. I can reassure you that tomorrow is going to be a better day. It's the end of the stressful week, so you just have to sit back and relax. Let's enjoy our time together tomorrow, okay? Do you... maybe want to go on a date? Yeah, well, we can visit the aquarium. Or maybe go to the amusement park too. Just somewhere we're not going to get bored. Or do you want to just lay back and maybe have an afternoon tea or coffee? There's some new establishments I've been wanting to try. Yeah, there's like this new pastry shop as well. Oh, I kind of like where this is going. We could go on a food trip tomorrow. Yeah, um, well, we don't have to plan it right now, but let's talk about it later. Hmm, for now, let's just stay here a little bit more before we eat. Yep, trust me, it's all right. Or is the smell of my cooking overpowering your tired body? Makes you want to grab a plate and eat, right? <laughs> all right, I'll stop teasing, I'll stop. But seriously, I don't want to sugarcoat or glorify your hard work in a way that... It doesn't sound healthy. I know how much it means to work in a safe environment. I mean, how are you going to get things done if you're already having a bad day, right? Thing is, don't let those little things distract you from what's important. If you feel like it's too much, I think it's best for you to step back and recompose yourself. Take deep breaths. Get yourself a nice cup of tea, or even just water to calm down. When you take things slow and steady, you'll find your pace. Sometimes our hard work can pay off when we are at ease with ourselves. Putting yourself under more pressure just because you need to repay yourself or something from the bad things that happen doesn't mean you should exert extra effort. Progress is progress, baby. It's never a one-way up thing. <laughs> Aw, you're welcome, baby. Do you feel any better? Even even a tiny bit? <laughs> I'm glad. Look, if you ever feel any negativity, or just having a bad day, may it even be just waking up on the wrong side of the bed. Tell me, alright? I'll be here. Listening to you. I love you so much. Hmm? Oh, so now you're hungry. <laughs> That's my baby. All right, let me set up the table. <laughs>